Yes. What's up, everyone? Today we will be doing since yeah, my bad. Since we're all in quarantine right now and have nothing else better to do, how about make some pizza? The great American thing. Perfect. Pizza. But first, we must make the pizza go. Keep all the germs off. Then we must put on our premium edition actual's chef hat. Very epic. This is rolling very good. So as you can see here, I have flour. I have yeast. I have salt. And I have olive oil. I like to rub, rub that all over my body at night. Yes. <laughs> nice. Nice and slick. All right. So first, we're going to need a bowl. You always need the biggest bowl. So now we have our bowl. We need a measuring device. We will be measuring three cups of flour. Normal, normal flour. If flour could be any less abnormal. Oh yes, I'm gonna have to do this the correct way, aren't I? You ready for this? Watch this. Oh, that's not, that's not satisfying. Ready? Here comes the satisf satisfaction. Oh yes. Okay. One cup. That was a lot more work than just one cup. No. Two cups. How many you got? I need to get three. Need three cups. Of flour. Just a little bit more. Well, you know, stuff happens. Set those to the side over there. Very nice, very nice. If you see your bag, you go a little bit of a poof poof. I'm really tempted to just blow all this flour out of the way right now. All nice and mixed up. We will need. No, I said no. Three quarters, I think it's, so we will need three quarters of a teaspoon. No, three four, yeah, it's three fourths a teaspoon of, so, of salt, that. So, if you could get a closer shot of that. Little. Oh, that's about one and a half, or two. And three. Three quarters. Grab our handy do mixing spoon from over there. Mix it up. Very, very nice. All right. Now, set that to the side. I know we've done so much with that flour. It's, now we will be putting some olive oil into this. We will need approximately two Tea tablespoons, my bad. Tablespoons, table, table, tablespoons. Two tablespoons of olive oil. No, 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 no. One. Man, you realize that's what that camera's for. Just getting every angle, you know? Uh-huh. So two and a half tablespoons. Now, a lot of people don't like to, but I specifically like putting eggs into my dough just because, be quiet. I like putting eggs into my dough because I, it makes it poofier. I like poofier. Now comes the hard part. I need to wait. Do not like waiting. It's very sad. Yes, I do, I do not like waiting. I would prefer if waiting was just... 
would prefer if waiting was just put out of the game, the question, you see. Because I am like every other human being. I don't like waiting. Yeasty yeast. How are you coming along there, buddy? Rise. The hard part. Waiting for the yeast to rise. Do not like it. Do not like it at all. This is very disappointing. I do not know what to do. But wait for them to be Oh, no, no, no. With the power of editing, it will only be a few seconds for you. And, you know, eventually. You know, eventually. No, it is not warm enough because of certain circumstances. Come on, yeast, what is going on with you? You are making me very mad. See, this yeast is not doing anything. I don't get it. This yeast should be doing something. This yeast should be doing something. We will give it more time. Even though it should only take about three minutes. We will cut this. And we will drop your yeast in there. Yeast? Hilarious joke. Hilarious joke is hilarious. You see, cooking. Cooking is an art that so many people just do not have. Because they've never tried. You all need to go out there and cook. Just try something. Make cereal for Pete's sake. Very, very nice. I must tell you, it is very aggravating to have this continue. But let's continue with this, shall we? Pay no attention to the sounds in the background, it is not me. I know that, son! <laughs> Alright. We gotta get this stuff in the bottom off the bottom. So add a little bit more. Interesting. Take the door out. Come on, sleeves. The sleeves should stay rolled up at all time. There you go. One dough clump ready. So we gotta get a bowl. Another bowl. Over here, Ben. Maybe get another bowl. Nothing. Wow. It is very nice oven. It's actually, it's actually pretty warm right now. So what you're gonna wanna do is turn the oven light on. I'm gonna keep this up because it's still warm from dinner. But, all right, pay close attention. When it comes to making dough rise, especially pizza dough, you put in the bottom olive oil, just, just a little bit. It's a heck of a lot of oil. Yeah, no, that's a lot of oil. Yeah. Just a little oil. No, that's a lot of oil. I am aware. All right, so here's the dough we have earlier. It's already starting to get bigger. I'm gonna put a lid over it. Very nice. Fits very well. Doesn't even fit. Don't, don't worry about it. Doesn't even fit in the oven, Steven. Now that the oven is cooled off, make sure you have the oven light on. and set it in for two hours. Out of covers. So we have finished with the two doughs. The two doughs are very nice. This one has eggs in it. The very plumpish. And this one does not have eggs. Not so plumpish. We will need pans! So first, open our little thing of flour. First, what we're going to do is we're going to throw a little bit of flour down on the counter. Oh, very nice. <laughs> we're going to take our nice enriched dough. Yes, it's very sappy. Very, it's, it's very soppy. You 
can hear the wrinkliness of the, put it like this. And we're gonna slice it into, oh, ah! it shall be made into pizza, I need pizza roll. Roll up the pizza. Flour. It's like a literal triangle, you sir. No, don't worry. It's just gonna be a big triangle pizza. Oh, I pizza. love triangle pizzas. Even though everybody else on the planet is going, you fool, why would you ever make triangle pizza? That's dumb. Mm -hmm. Just... But that's how we eat it, though. We eat, we eat circles that are triangles. Just think about that. <clears throat> yes. Now you feel. You only use the palms of your hand when picking up the dough, so as to not cut it with your nasty fingernails. Important thing. All right. Now we have it. One more rolled out this way. Fold it once more time. This is for if you do not have. If you do not add eggs, of course. Do not have eggs, of course. And of course, a more rounder pizza for the rounder and straighter people. Yo. You know what I forgot? I forgot flour. Flour, flour, flour. I realized. Put a full breadstick off, I do say so myself. Looks just like my Play Doh days. <laughs> There we go, second one. Perhaps next time, for this size of a family, I should make more. You think? Yes. Then we're all gonna, because I have a big family, we're gonna split these in half, so there's plenty. Oh, my legs! Oh. So sad. <laughs> and then we're gonna roll these out to be just a little bit thinner then. Good. Good. We'll need to cook these with garlic butter. Good. 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 Did you work making pizza? And I have run out of comedy, can you tell? And battery. Which one? That one is about to die. Well, that is fine, because I have all of this stuff done. All right, it's time for... And yeah. we got 11 minutes left on this car. Oh, thank you so much for telling me. You make me feel so good about myself. You're welcome. Anytime. Mmm, very nice. What does it smell like, Steven? It smells Prego. It smells Prego? Yes. Ah, maybe because you're using Prego. Who would have thought? All right. Now, before you do anything, one of the big things before you put on sauce is you must create some residence of crust. So, of course, the, um, the uh, what, what you call the, the sauce does not get out. You do not want the sauce coming out of the pizza.
All right, make sure there's plenty of sauce. Yeah, to have have a lot of sauce. Yeah, yeah. Oh, mm. Sauce, sauce, sauce. Sauce is like the best part of any pizza. All right, so now we will need pepperonis, sausages, and bacons. Cause you know how I like that meat. The big sugar container. I have one of sugar, one of flour. I never went in there. Yeah, well, somebody went in there. I got sugar container and left it on the counter last night. But of course, just throw the bacon on. I do not have a more efficient way, so I'm gonna just squeeze all the bacon on. My fingers are getting very greasy. It is fine. I can handle grease, that is for sure. But you know what they say. When in Greece, do not act like Rome. Oh, got him. Set this up. Should I start recording? Yes. Now we've got, we've got the- <laughs> No, I'm gonna just make it down again. We got the, we got the- No, uh, no, no, no. It's, it's reading the card, what the heck? Yes, that's how it works. Change the battery pack. All right, we got, well, we got this. We're gonna need better knife. Mucho better knife. Now that's more like it. Yeah, I sharpen these myself, so uh, they are now super sharp. We get some provolone. We paste the provolone on top. Yes, cheese toppings. Yes, mucho bueno. Muy bueno. Plenty. It's beautiful. I only mean, used up the whole pack. No, no, no. I I bought six. Oh. You must be prepared. And then a little. Almost. And of course. A little bit more mozzarella for 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 good measure, of course. For gosh, dang it! You're actually not looking bad. Put that over there. Okay, so I have to do this myself. Gonna be gone in five minutes. I know. I know. Uh, you've got two minutes left in your battery. It's fine, my dude. It's fine. All right. Pizza complete. There we go.